Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Nurse Eunice with Florida Training Academy and in this video we're going to be showing you how to clean dentures. We know that dentures are extremely expensive and so you want to make sure your dentures are in a case. For the state of Florida exam, don't forget that denture care is a two-part skill. After cleaning the dentures, using the denture brush and the denture paste, which they'll have toothpaste, you have to go back and provide mouth care. And when you're providing mouth care, you're pretending like your partner does not have any teeth. Remember, it's just the test. Even if someone did have real dentures, they're not gonna take them out just so you can pass your test. So since you're pretending that your patient doesn't have any teeth, instead of using a toothbrush to cleanse their mouth, you're gonna use that tooth set or swab. And I'll make sure that I have an image um, so that you can actually see what that looks like if you've never seen one before. But let's focus on first things first. Let's focus on denture care. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the cap and place my dentures on the countertop. I'm gonna put a washcloth in the base of the sink. We know that when dentures come out of someone's mouth, they're really slippery. And so um, we don't want them to hit the porcelain, the inside of the sink and be damaged. I'm also gonna start running some cold water. We only wanna use cool or cold running water on our dentures. We don't want the water too hot because real dentures could be affected or reshaped by the hot temperatures. I'm going to go ahead and wet the bristles of my denture brush. At the test site, they may have a use in toothpaste, but in the real world, we use denture paste on dentures because toothpaste would cause abrasions um, that would allow germs to grow on the denture and cause the dentures to have an odor. So tooth um, test site, you use what they have. Real world, use denture paste on dentures. I'm going to rinse off the dentures. Remember for this scenario, the person just removed the dentures from their mouth and they're preparing for bed. I'm going to brush all surfaces of the dentures. This angular portion, let's say there was some adhesive or something in the denture, I can remove that or some food particles. I can use the um, angled portion for that. Make sure you hold the denture securely and when you're done, there should be paste all over your denture. You can now rinse. Make sure you also rinse your denture. When you store the dentures in a cup, especially if you have the upper and the lowers, think about the orientation, how they go in the mouth. And that's how you wanna put them in the cup too. So since these are the upper dentures, we're gonna put them in the cup with the teeth down and the gums up. And now so the dentures don't dry out, I'm gonna put water into the cup so that the dentures are actually beneath the water. That's gonna make sure the dentures are comfortable for your patient. At the test site, your nurse might tell you to pour the water out, do whatever he or she tells you to do. I can now turn off the water, remove my washcloth. I'm going to go ahead and take this washcloth to the laundry basket. I can now take my denture supplies back into the clinical room, open up the cabinet and store them. And don't forget, denture care is a two-part skill. After performing denture care, you have to perform the resident's mouth care. All right, everybody, again, this is Nurse Eunice with Florida Training Academy. I hope you liked our videos. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Share our videos with a friend. And if you know anybody who's interested in being a CNA or a nurse, this is a great place to start. Plus, you get to do so for free. All right, everybody, have a blessed day. Bye.